After decades of grief, debate, and a startling increase in the number of young people attempting to mortally harm themselves at the Golden Gate Bridge, $204 million has been secured to build the stainless steel Twin Nets suicide deterrent system 20 feet down from the sidewalk, extending 20 feet out on both sides of the bridge. Contractor fencing will go up in early May. Net installation will begin in mid-2018. The completion date is expected in January of 2021. Hi, my name is Kimberly Renee Gamboa. And this is my 18-year-old son, Kyle Emerson Gamboa. And like Dick said, uh, Kyle jumped off the bridge on September 20th, 2013. He was just starting his senior year at high school at Sacramento Waldorf School. So I'd like to thank all of Kyle's friends and family who are in this with all of us. Today marks the beginning of the end of suicides on the Golden Gate Bridge. About five years ago, this suicide deterrent project did not qualify for federal funds. We were fortunate to be in District 12, represented by Democratic Leader of the House, Nancy Pelosi, who took the leadership and helped change federal law. What a bittersweet day this is. The joy of the prospect of saving lives, the sadness of those we have lost. Last year, 233 people came to the bridge to harm themselves. Thanks to the heroic, compassionate work of the bridge patrol officers and the men and women who staff at crisis call lines, so many of you are part of, 184 were rescued. With this ceremony, we mark the beginning of construction on a deterrent system that will save countless more lives. 39 people died last year alone. What you're doing here today, what the bridge is doing, and what the taxpayers are doing will hopefully turn that number to zero. So thank you so much. I'm very proud of what you've done. Thank you very much. State mental health funds contributed $7 million. The Golden Gate Bridge District budgeted $60 million. Caltrans contributed $70 million. And MTC provided nearly $74 million, including the funding for the final planning of the project. We were and continue to be delighted to be part of this, to get us to this day. And the last thing that I'm going to tell you, there's a guy in our midst today with blue hair. Who would have thought a guy with blue hair? Stand up, Tom Amiano. Come on. But I got the data on you, Amiano. 14 years as a San Francisco supervisor, 12 years as a Golden Gate Bridge district director, eight years as an MTC commissioner, six years as a state assembly member. All of these are your former titles, but the title that you will never relinquish is champion of the suicide deterrent project. By all accounts, it is the grieving parents who push this project through, sparking the demand for action by the public. Take great pride, each of every one of you, for your tears, your grief, your sadness, your lifesavers. Thank you, we're all in your debt. Thank you so much. Many of the grieving parents were here, wearing a picture of their lost one on their chest or carrying their picture around throughout the ceremony. John and Erica Brooks lost their daughter, Casey, to the bridge. Now, I can't really be happy, but there's a sense of at least satisfaction that, that you know, Casey's life meant something, that, that Donovan's life meant something, that Matthew's life meant something, that Kathy's life meant something. So we're all here for the same reason, that we, we want to honor our children, we want them to be remembered, we don't want them to be forgotten, and we want to make sure this doesn't happen to anybody else. The families. At the Golden Gate Bridge, Mark Jones reporting.